What up, world? I um I just watched Justice League: Throne of Atlantis, the new uh, the new straight to DVD, straight to Blu-ray, whatever your format of preference is, uh, release from the, from Warner Brothers Animation, the DC Animated Universe, whatever they call it. A lot of the voices from Justice League War came back. Um, but you got Matt Lancer as Aquaman, Jerry O'Connell as Superman, Jason O'Mara as Batman, uh, Nathan Fillion as Green Lantern. Christopher Gorham, I think that's how you pronounce his name, is The Flash. Sean Astin is uh, Billy Bastin and Shazam. Um, but uh, Rosario Dawson replaced Michelle Monaghan as Wonder Woman. And um, the main theme, the main story that's going on in this is basically Arthur Curry, Aquaman's uh, rise to the throne in Atlantis. He's, it's like... His story has elements of the first Thor movie with the first, well, as far as a half-brother and trying to get the throne and shit, shit like that. And then as far as him being from like two different worlds, he's kind of like a Spock-like character. Being like half Atlantean, half human, the way Spock was is half Vulcan, half human. You got Cyborg and he's investigating an attack on a submarine. And then he gets attacked himself and he has to call in the Justice League who since the end of Justice League War haven't really communicated at all. And um obviously this brings them all together. They're they're trying to they're trying to investigate Atlantis and Atlanteans and um where the threat's coming from. Uh they end up going up against Ocean Master and and, and Black Manta. And then Aquaman discovering his powers, you know, he could talk to fish and taking over the trident and kind of like it's like a war from like Ocean Masters trying to start a war between um, the humans and the Atlanteans. But uh, you you understand his cause, honestly, because I mean, while he's a bad guy, uh, he has a reason for why he's doing this. One little detail I didn't notice in Justice League War, I'm not sure if they did it or not, but they put the S back on the back of Superman's cape, and just like a little detail like that is so dope, because I always thought it was dope that Superman had a yellow S on the back of his cape, but that's some other shit. Um, I thought it was funny how like when the team is all assembling, like Batman was still in Gotham City, like being a badass and shit, taking care of Gotham City before... Like, he knew what was going on, but he just didn't go to the meeting or the briefing or whatever it was yet. I saw a couple comments that, like, people didn't like this movie, and, like, I didn't see why not. Like, it's PG-13. It tells you that before it started. Uh, somebody was crying about the violence in a comment, and, like, I don't think it's any more violent than any of the previous DC animated releases. Um, the, how they animated the blood was, underwater was real cool. Um, like, it's not like a game changer, it's not like the best DC release or whatever, it's not the best animated release that they've put out since Super Superman Doomsday, but I still liked it, man. I like the story, I like the animation, um, I like that they introduced Aquaman into the team because I, I, I was wondering why he wasn't in Justice League War, um, but it was, it was dope how they brought him into the team. And uh, the part in the commercial or the trailer or whatever where they, he well, he's gonna need a code name, and then Green Lantern just Aquaman it is. I I just I laughed at that. That was pretty good. I like I don't have any flaws with it. Like I said, it's just, it's not it's not a game changer, but it's a solid release. So in my opinion, man, Justice League Throne of Atlantis is dope. Um, did you like it? Um, as far as the DC animated Justice League releases, just Justice League. Um, which one is your favorite? There's Justice League New Frontier. There's Crisis on Two Earths. There's Justice League Doom. Um, and then there's Justice League War and Justice League: The Flashpoint Paradox. Um, I thought I thought Doom and War were solid, but I think The Flashpoint Paradox is my favorite. Um, and then they've got they've got one coming out. Their last release for this year is called Justice League: Gods and Monsters. I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea uh, if it's based on a graphic novel or a series of comics. But uh, I don't under, I don't see why they couldn't be a story where they where they brought uh, Martian Manhunter into the team. I mean, it just be be cool to have 
like Cyborg and Shazam with Aquaman and Martian Manhunter, along with the, 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 the staples of the team, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Flash, Green Lantern. And then in April, Batman vs. Robin picks up right after Son of Batman. So that comes out in April. I'll definitely be reviewing that too. I, I wanna, I'm gonna see. I'm going to see. My theater got it. I'm going to see Project Almanac this weekend. Then next weekend, I think. I think the only thing I, I think I've said before. The only thing I want to see next weekend is, is SpongeBob because um, Jupiter Ascending and the Seventh Sun both look whack as hell to me. Um. So hit me up where y'all hit me up as is always. What the goings on are, man. Peace.